I better have that. Well, this oh. is uh, the Somerset levels this morning as we wake up. Uh, still very dark outside, of course, but you can just about see the snow starting to fall. The West yeah, Country is going to get the, the worst of, of yeah. today's deluge, I think, aren't they? We know there's more snow on the way, and you can just see the flakes just started falling there. Is it Holford? Holford, Somerset? it is. Yeah. So I'm afraid you've got it coming your way. We're all going to get it in the, in the south as well, but the West Coast. What have you got there? Well, this is actually my uh, cup of choice this morning for uh, for Quite tea posh. and coffee. Very posh. This is. One of the royal collection, mm -hmm. uh, it's got the royal seal of approval. It's an official souvenir cup for the royal uh, wedding, upcoming royal uh, wedding. For William and Kate. Okay, well, yes, the royal collection has been released to mark the marriage of Prince William and Catherine, I think we're going to call her, aren't we? Uh, the initials of the happy couple C and W are on the memorabilia. A pretty tricky one, that, because WC, of course, It would have given them slightly the wrong impression. They've done a bit of sort of moving around, haven't they, to make it look a little bit better. And we are joined now by experts on all these things. Jamie, good to see you, Jamie Breeze. Good to see you again. You know all about... Now, do you get excited by things like this? Because do you think, right, in the future, this is going to be worth a bob or two? I get terribly excited. Do I really you? do, yes, because this is... Um, this has been mass produced effectively, but they're hand finished mm. and they're at an affordable price point as well. Um, so you hold it up, so have a look. It's yeah, and they're made in Britain, aren't they? Aren't they? These are to... straight out of the potteries and Staffordshire. Straight, absolutely. You know, the potteries have had a it real is rather delicate, crisis. Actually, isn't it? Be rather soft tones and soft colours. Um, very nice hand finish, got a bit, a bit, little bit of gold on there as well, you know, 22 karat gold. And they're affordable, as I said. That's, um, that's about £40, the, the cup is, you know. Uh, a couple of decades, you know, mm. a few pounds will get you some nice items. And they make lovely gift items as well, and they come in really good packaging, and they're officially approved, of course, by... by um, so they've chosen the design. They've they sat have. there with the designers. They have. They've actually approved it, which is very kind of rare when it comes to royal commemoratives. And, and um, you know, commemorative plates and mugs have gone for a lot of money in the past, haven't they? they? Have. I mean, you've got some ones from previous wedding there. What would they yes. be worth? Um, again, these were kind of mass-produced pieces. Yeah. Um, uh, Sarah Ferguson and Andrew, then we got the 81 wedding as well. But these tend to be in the sort of 25 to 35 pound mark. Right. What you're really looking for when it comes to royal commemoratives, items which are a little bit more unique or sometimes limited edition, these are very affordable. You can get some pieces, they're just coming out now, which relate to the royal wedding, which can cost up to £400, and they're limited you know, to a few hundred, for example. So but those are the ones to pick if you're looking about absolutely. value long term. Yeah. But the unique items, like a slice of the royal wedding cake from 81, that can be worth £1,500. And just three weeks ago, an auction in London sold 20 pieces of jewellery from Wallace Simpson and, and the previous king who Gosh. abdicated. And they sold for eight million pounds. Wow! So you know, okay. royal romance is big business. Now, this is the official stuff. It Are is. we no expecting a glut of, of tat? It, 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 <laughs> I came in. Uh, I came in a, a month or so ago, and we, just when all the engagement stuff was kind of going off, and there was stuff produced overnight. T-shirts, weren't the they? T-shirts, an mugs available on well-known auction sites. You know, those are unofficial, and you know, uh, some of the some of them sure will be worth some money in the future. Because the Queen has said no pictures, and so you you won't be able to have things like tea towels that you can clean your plates with, which is a shame. I think I liked all that. This is um, you know. Other things which will make these kind of more valuable in the future will be if the wedding, God forbid, is cancelled. Then, of course, he's got the dates on and, you know, mm. uh, they'll be retracted or, you know, they'll become collectible as well. So anything which makes something unique, and particularly, of course, if you keep it in its packaging, as most collectors know today, then it's got a more of a chance of becoming more valuable. But lovely gift items at an affordable price and, of course, handcrafted. Jamie, okay. thank you. Lovely to see if that cold snap continues all the way through to the Royal Wedding. Mm. It gets delayed. That could be worth a bit that more. That could be the problem. It'll be a sled. Yeah. It won't be a carriage, it'll be a sled. <laughs> that would be romantic. All right, thanks, Jamie. It's still to come Thank on you. Daybreak when it comes to reality shows. It is one of the hardest, I always think. The lineup for Dancing on Ice is out, brave souls. Talking to two of them, Nadia Sawala and Dominic Cork, in the next half hour.